Albert Einstein famously said, question everything. And even though it's simple, it might be one of the most important lessons we can learn from him today. According to a Harvard study, one of the most common complaints people make after having a conversation is that they wish the other person had asked more questions. That same study showed that teams who foster a culture of asking questions see better communication practices and more success on average than teams who don't. It's no wonder us as humans have made it so much further than any other living creature. After all, we're the only ones with the ability to pursue the knowledge we don't have. The only creatures who can ask questions. That basically makes it our human superpower. Your human superpower. Because asking questions is integral to every one of our daily lives. Yet I find it's often overlooked in traditional teaching. We're taught to ask questions when we're confused, and that's just about it. Something doesn't make sense? Ask your professor. Ask your friend. Hopefully the answer clears things up. But questions can do so much more than just create clarity. For example, a question can force someone to think critically or in a way they hadn't before. What do we stand to gain by not implementing this solution? A question can also do something like create ownership of an idea. Based on your experience, what do you recommend we do here? And then questions can do some of the most important things, like build interpersonal relationships. How was your day? Would you like to talk? Important decision makers use the power of great questions to do their jobs more effectively every day. And we can too. I'd like to take this time to elevate your question asking ability, because I think you'll find that the ability to craft a great question in any situation is the ability to empower those around you, allowing you to communicate with, learn from, and connect with them more effectively. So what are the qualities of a great question? A great question has great timing. Conversations are a balance between give and take. If one person is just rapid firing questions to the other, that balance is lost. And your conversation becomes more of an interrogation. The questions are devalued. If you cut someone off with a question, they're going to know you weren't listening and that you were instead just waiting to ask that question. Again, the question is devalued. We should feel out our conversations for a good opportunity to ask. And if you find yourself as the person doing most of the talking, you should be the one to say, what questions do you have when you feel it's appropriate? A great question is also unguided. We shouldn't be forcing an answer upon someone with the question itself. Because when we do that, the entire original purpose of the question is lost. You're not trying to receive information that way. You're trying to receive validation. You have an answer in your head, and you want someone else to say it. That's not a great use of questions. Last, but certainly not least, a great question is empowering. Not just to you, but to those around you as well. When you ask a great question, you're helping yourself to understand something better, while helping the person across from you convey that information in a more effective way. You're basically helping them help you help everyone around you. So if these are the qualities of a great question, how do we ask one? How do we ask the questions that drive success, the questions that build rapport amongst one another? I like to use a strategy called asking your second question, and it's just as simple as it sounds. The first question that pops into your head in any situation is rarely going to be the best. We should take just a brief moment and pause to upgrade that question in our head before we actually ask it. As you continuously upgrade questions, you quickly learn what makes one great and what does not. Let me give you two examples of effective ways you can upgrade a question. Recently, I was working on a solution to a problem, and my solution would likely get seen by a lot of people. So before I sent it out for an official review, I wanted my peers to give me feedback on it 
so I could be happy with the quality of my work. The question I was originally going to ask was, did I do this right? It's quick and to the point, and an answer of yes would leave me feeling pretty good about my work. But the reality of my solution, and any solution, is that it's never going to be 100% right or 100% wrong. So an answer of yes or no is bound to be misleading. It doesn't catch that gray area in the middle. The question I instead asked was, how would you do this differently? And the feedback I got was great. I was able to receive praise for the parts I did right and constructive criticism on the parts that weren't so right. In essence, by going from a closed-ended question to an open-ended one, I was able to generate much better discussion on the topic at hand. And that's one very effective way you can upgrade a question. For this next example, imagine I'm your manager, and I've just received a report from you that I'm not happy with. I'm about ready to go down to your desk and say, do you really think this is acceptable work? But I pause, and I decide to upgrade that question. I ask, is this question empowering? No, it's not. I'm clearly trying to belittle you with my sarcasm and my tone. Is this question unguided? Again, it's not. I'm clearly demonstrating to you that your work hasn't been good enough. The question I would instead ask here and upgrade to is, what can I do to enable you better in the workplace? Or how can I increase your productivity? Because now, instead of a sarcastic question generating an excuse or an apology back, I'm able to actively demonstrate that I want to help you do better work, and you're able to give me a real answer about how to do that back. All because I didn't ask that first terrible question. Hopefully this demonstrates to you that not all questions are created equal. There are clear winning questions that will generate great discussion and questions that just won't even come close. If what distinguishes us from animals is our ability to learn, to pursue knowledge, and to ask questions, what do you think the difference is between someone who asks okay questions and someone who asks great questions? Do you think the person who asks great questions would make a better communicator? Do you think that person would make a better leader? Do you think the person who asks amazing questions distinguishes themselves from their peers in a positive way? I challenge you to go be that person and find out. Thank you.